usual, the nominations were fraught with a lot of debates, um, controversies, and general outcry. Um, some people were happy, and um, of course, some people not so happy. I don't know. It seems Chatterhouse seems to be repeating the same old mistakes again. Or are they? Okay, so we've got with us an expert, an entertainment critic, Nana Texan. He's no stranger to us here on the show, and he's going to shed some more light. You know, just navigate us through the murky terrains of the nominees list as we have it now. Good morning, Nana. Good morning, Sandra. How are you today? Great, thank you. We seem to be matching, Mm. color coordinating this morning. (laughs) Indeed, very nice. (laughs) Very, very nice. Nana, so nominees are out. Mm -hmm. People are not too happy. Some people. Some people are very happy. Some people are happy. Sure. Why is it always like this? Is it just, you know, generally people, um, artists just, you know, just, you know, wanting to be not really deserving and wanting nominations or uh, what, what is it? What, what's, what happens when, why, why all the general? Interesting. Well, thank you. Happy Independence Day to everybody. I oh, mean, it was yesterday. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but yes. we'll still we still it. We <laughs> yeah, indeed. We are indeed. Um, Awards in general have controversies wherever in the world. Um, there's no award scheme which has uh, no controversy, you know. And so I personally went to the launch ground and I was expecting controversy. Even before we got started, um, you realize there were a few songs which had some issues around them. Yes. One was Tonga, Tonga and, uh, and then adult, adult music. music. Yeah. So people on social media, if you monitored, were like, Was it out? Was it in? You know, final speculation was about, no, it was out. And then the list came and then you realize, oh, okay, there was a wholesale, you know, (laughs) even including a certain disc song, which um, fortunately also sailed through. Now, if you use that same barometer for last year, you probably may say this year the people have been very lenient based on whichever reason they did that you wouldn't understand because certain songs couldn't make it if it was last year but this year is obviously because at the end of the day it sells tickets Mm. Bukum Banku and the other guy what's his name Aite Powers Powers. they can't just two individuals stand there and box the hell out of each (laughs) other no they need to create a vibe and now everybody wants to go to that exactly advantage of all the controversies you know as possible so you can't really blame them and therefore even call it double standards I I guess you can because if um, something is not good for the goose it shouldn't be good for the gander so if you're going to leave someone out in a certain year why do you put the same or another person in the same category but if you based read, on the same yeah. you know if you read also their accept. contracts and articles of which they send around to people they say we have the right to alter things that's what also. I, was, I was asking do you think they're <laughs> and as a lawyer now? I'm sure you know that yeah that's what I asked you if you think Obviously, they're they have now, a research they decided team decided to yeah. you know they be a bit team. more you know lenient and a bit more you know it could be but I wouldn't like to say that you know because remember the backlash they're going to get if they disqualify those two particular songs will be much more than they're getting now right. that they let it slip through right. you understand right. after all now people are not necessarily talking about those two songs per se they were talk they are talking about certain songs that actually made it for instance if you look at your category list mm-hmm. discovery that's where most of the issues yes. are yes um, yes. A certain Kumi guitar made the list. I don't even know who he was. Wonderful. I read out his nomination. Was, was oh, yeah. not a newcomer, right? No that's idea. Yes, that's yeah. a newcomer. That's a newcomer. Which, I read it out and I was like, who, I know who he was. You see, even though you don't know who he was, mm-hmm. he already had a song out in 2012. Was it uh, yes. a hit? Was it like No, a, it was actually some compilation by a guy called Sugar Ranking Records. Okay. But it was good enough to get him. Yes, but that means. New artist yeah. of the year. No, it shouldn't be New Artist of the Discovery. Year. Yes, he's because been he's been around. Exactly my point. Mm-hmm. So if he made it, then a certain oh. Noella should also be there. Okay. And Noella who was performing. Exactly. Even you know, Miss V. Right. It, it, you, so all those things, you know. Okay. So if you're going to look at the controversy aspect, there are a few technical things you can pinpoint and attack. Right. But as to the controversy surrounding the whole event, the whole show, it will come and even go further during the awards because anybody they award, people are going to be happy yeah. or otherwise. You might even have some dissonance. But mm. personally, are, are you satisfied with the list? I'm seventy percent satisfied. Why am what I saying that? What areas are you not too happy? Um, with? Obviously, there's uh, one particular portion there also, which is a big mistake. Where Sonny Badu is, I think Sonny the song Badu is got a few nominations. Yes. 
but there's one particular area there called the Wonder God, okay. which unfortunately the song was released in 2012. That's 2012. Okay. So ah. technically, it shouldn't so even be here. On the list. You understand? So oh. if you're going but to look at it, but he only shot the video. But he only shot the video last year. But the Doesn't song matter the song. We're not yes. talking about video. Because if we're looking at that particular scenario, we can also refer that and extend the argument to Stone Boy's song. Pull, pull up. up. I yes. talked about that the other day. Wonderful. And pull up. Guess what? According to Stone Boy, it was uh, late 2013 mm. or, or, or no 2012. Mm. You know when he. But there was a pre-release before. So I made a joke on, I hope this is radio friend or TV friendly, I can say. I said, whether you did a pre-release or you did a release, a release is a release. Mm -hmm. So looking at the date the pre was, it's still, excuse me to say, if it was biological, then can still make a lady pregnant. You know? <laughs> no, so no, technically no. speaking, technically, it, was really it, was it was released. So it shouldn't have made it here. However, Stoneboy has very good songs. Right. About three or four. His very album powerful. is very good. very good. So why didn't he come with and those I, I, particular I've heard songs. Him lamenting on Twitter. Indeed. He's not, he's not very happy. Indeed. However, his lamentation is misplaced slightly because he is actually going further and defending what he's not supposed to defend, which is this song making it there. Because but technically it was previous. Exactly. But technically no, it shouldn't be there. However, those other three songs could have passed for any great nomination and I would have been happy and supported him. Okay, on the whole, you know, uh controversy of songs and it's actually explicit things. One of the things I noticed on the night was um, the musical president of Bo went on stage and he gave a speech where, um, uh, you know, he was talking about the fact that if he was an artist, we, the, the Ghana Musical Awards is committed um, uh, to making sure they don't nominate songs which are, you know, sexually explicit so forth. He gave this whole spiel and literally mm. within a few minutes, Those the nominations were nominated. So it was like, I was sitting back thinking, did they set a ball up for a four almost? Because oh. <laughs> you get on a podium, you mm. say, we're not going to do X, Y, Z. And then the organization which you're given the speech for saying they're not going to do X, Y, Z, mm. they do X, Y, Z. slip it through. And as a musical person, I personally just sit in my thought, hmm, it's a bit touchy. Interesting. Well, what do you think that made a poor look? Since he was the one deli delivering the message. Interesting. It's a bit like a bulldog saying something, Shatawale saying mm -hmm. something. Yeah. As you know, that's the contradiction there. However, let me just defend... Um, uh, Obor briefly. I mean, he was there to give a statement. He probably had not had a pre-chat with the yeah, organizers nice what he was going know. to say. Mm. So you cannot falter him for that. Mm. It's the people who had already... Obor himself, I'm sure, didn't know the list. Mm. You know, so this is what maybe they had based on last year. Disqualified some songs. So perhaps he was coming based on that information to say, well, this year we're not going to do so and so and so and so. Unfortunately, they, they he fell so flat so. on his bum. You know, I yeah. hope he had enough cushions to support the fall. Okay, so um, let's talk about Sonny Badu. Yes. First time nominations. nominations yeah. And uh, what did he do right this year or last year to get him so many nominations? Because he's never been nominated at the GMA. So That's true. Was it his, um, you know, he was very present Sure, on the, scene on the last year. Scene, two, yeah. two stadium sure. completely sold out sure. shows, concerts. So. Sony is uh, one of those artists who never gets it wrong in terms of performances, but uh, he has a problem with his mouth. He runs it a bit too much, <laughs> probably like myself. Like you. <laughs> yes. I just want to know. I you know what? God, like you. I know the pot calling the kettle <laughs> black. But you're not you know. selling records, so no, no. Yeah, I mean, I you're like, a social commentator. Uh, precisely so, and yeah. I'm, 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 I'm invited to speak my mind freely most of the time gets me into battles but i love a challenge i love a good fight i like the soldier who came here ready to fight <laughs> you know um sony unfortunately made a few disparaging remarks about the uh -huh. awards yes uh previously because he described it as something and it's on record by the way so i'm not just saying this yes. that um it was just local people thing and he perhaps saw himself a bit above international that international rt you know, international. whether you like it or not, he's kind of right, you know, in terms of his market or target group. He does oh, it so over we there. Maybe I'll meet him. <laughs> so, you know, you know, I won't just leave it like that. <laughs> so, you know, so him coming down again, try to defend that by saying, oh, he didn't really call these people local derogatorily. But he says, if he comes it and then overshadows is. them with all the, you know, his mm -hmm. hula ball, you know, he has a presence about him. He, he probably may sweep the whole award, which, like, is happening now. Mm -hmm. 
So to him, he's like, I have so many awards anyway. Let these guys Let enjoy. <laughs> it's not a bit condescending. It, it is, is indeed. It but is. That's a superstar speaking. Arrogance, a bit of pride there. However, what bothers me is uh, since he is into the gospel, perhaps a pride thing should have been left, left for those of us in the secular, you know, to, to do pride stuff. However, hey, he's been nominated. The uh, only thing is there was one problem there. When he was questioned about it, he said, well, he didn't even submit the nominations. It was mm. his manager, mm. which I thought was but the your most ma- your manager awkward. Represents represents you, sir. Yeah. I love you, sweetie. You. That was the most ridiculous <laughs> thing I ever sense. had, you imagine know, in my entire sense. life. Yeah. Please, Sonny, but how, give us how a many break. artists themselves as a exactly go there and say this is my CD. Yeah. Okay, well, so even you. if you don't <laughs> submit it, the award scheme has a has way a of fishing it, it out. out. Mm-hmm. They use various methods, even including Google, including record labels, submitting, including some okay. research and things like that. So you don't necessarily have to go there, but it helps if you show interest and then you submit your work or you can also decide don't touch my work you know yeah that's also there i had a small issue can i just chip in quickly um there was um a little controversy should i call it controversy or a little misunderstanding between who's supposed to win what award in terms of the car Ah, last year the newcomer i brought an interesting topic the 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 award for the i think uh, the best the, 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 the best uh, artist, artist, you know, artist won the, the award last, last year, which year. was RTD, RTD. and MG Rover. Yes, right. they got a car. And this year, they've come, because a lot of pundits spoke about it, that why do you give the car to somebody who's already, already established? Exactly. Yes. So, so give, give it, it to, to a newcomer. A newcomer. I kind it, of agree. No, other people also have other things. Like, um, this person who is already established has paid his dues throughout the years. So if it's time to reap mm, what he sown, so you it. know it's a two-edged mm. sort of thing, whichever way you look at it. But I even have a different opinion about all these things. Sure. Oh yes, sure. I'm looking at it this way: instead of giving a car sponsored by Midland Savings and Loans, car worth about thirty-five thousand dollars at least, why don't you establish a small studio for the person? If, it's a, if a person is a discovery, that means they need help. Mm-hmm. If you give a younger person a car, we all have cars. Look at it, how much... It loses value even when you drive it out. Precisely out of the showroom. Why do you give such burden to the person? Already maybe the to person takes their truck truck. Petrol and all of that. person takes their truck truck. Now immediately you give the person a car, you set him up to a certain pedestal. Mm-hmm. He cannot drop. Right, right. So it's mm-hmm. just going to eat his money and eventually they're going to go broke. For instance, uh, sorry. No, um, I agree with you with the studio. I mean, you're, so get them a studio. Thirty-five thousand in Ghana City is almost close to seven hundred million That's old. That city. would build five studios. <laughs> I so just build and something the small. Can also regenerate money because oh, people can. And you can buy, my mind. buy his own car. Oh, you people! You just speak what I'm speaking. <laughs> so what am I supposed to say now? You said everything I was going to say. You're intelligent we woman. Are here. We are I know. Here. We are here. And just we to quickly add to that, an example I gave was Richie. Richie owns a studio, yes. and out of the studio, Easy and Co have yeah, passed through. Yes. Other interesting artists have come through. If he wants a car, he can use his studio as a collateral to get the best car he Never wants. A wise man, <laughs> as wise as King Solomon. That, that's foul. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So why don't we rather do this instead of just? You remember Funny Faces' car given mm-hmm. to him by a mm-hmm. yes. The tire alone is about three thousand Ghana CDs. Can you imagine if you have to buy four tires? Oh, but no, has Ali Face told you he cannot buy tires? Let me see all the adverts he does. Okay. Oh. You buy tire, I, 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 I rest my case. What that for? So what my point is, for? relating that to this, <laughs> when you do that and you don't have like a funny face who can generate a lot of income yeah. to support that lifestyle, you've, yeah, killed, you've the killed, killed the person. person. Depression yeah, sets in. Right. You know what I mean? Since Mike Tyson and co have blown a lot of money True. out of the ring, we shouldn't make those mistakes. Okay. Right now, let's talk about the king, king of dance hall. True. Shut, 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 shut. Uh, shut your, your, He's your now boy. a friend of the show. Your so. boyfriend. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm always trying to steal him, but I, I, I got him back. I, I got my man. Oh back. dear, who's Brandy? Who's Monica? <laughs> the boys. Who's Rihanna? Who's Kaoshi? Oh dear. Who's Rihanna? Who's Kaoshi? Who's Kaoshi? Kaoshi, the other. That's another. Okay, after the show. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a man. So uh, apparently, Shata has released a song. I don't know what kind of song it is. Oh, part two. Is it? Is it true? Is it correct? Yes, according to social media but i haven't heard um, the song so we don't know what kind of song the content but he must be is, happy yeah. because he's been nominated and 
Some of the most did he top the awards? And no, Guru top the awards. Woo! Because I read a headline there. Shanta but he's everywhere top. he wanted to be last year. So no, I imagine he's no, happy. There are a few songs that couldn't make it to, like Enter the Net, for instance. So if um, uh, Samini's made it, if Tonga made it, mm. if Adult Music Asema made it, ba. Enter the Net should also should have, have made, made it. Because it, it. it was popular. I think you I agree with me. I can't wait to hear that song, though. That this song. That this song, oh dear. I hey. haven't heard it, but I think I'll hear it on my But I don't out. think it's that bad, because it they bad. haven't made so much noise about it's it. Because it's, it's not out. It's no, out. plus there are too many controversies now. People are talking about these ones for now. So it needs to yes. die down. A little before his comes out, you know. Plus, people knew what he was going to do But do you envision him picking up any any awards Indeed, indeed, indeed. He's worked uh, which categories he might get? I wouldn't be surprised the ultimate. Mm. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised at all because the gentleman oh, has I, worked oh, I hard. Think, I think he's gonna win. It. Remember, Nanaba so. said it here that you know he will okay. probably win it as well. That's so, true. When right. he was on the show. That's true. Yeah. Okay, yeah. lastly, before you go, African yes. Artist of the Year. Yes. It, it, it featured. Uh, there was no Ghanaian artist featured in that. Is yeah. that saying that no Ghanaian artist can win the overall African artist? Good Would question. You, I mean, but usually they never put a Ghanian. like Enter the Net should have been there. Do they usually well. put a Ghanaian uh, African? Because but, it, but does, it doesn't put, say non Ghanaian. Yeah. It just says African. Yeah, but they, they, never, general, they never do. They never do. Yeah, maybe it's time you're calling, you know, uh, the attention to it. So they, they should. Do. Yeah, they should. You know, and then uh, my money, I think uh, Fuse may take it because Fuse did very well, you know, or has done very well for Ghana in particular. Fuse for Everywhere. Africa. He's not in there. He's, I think he's in for international. International? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. International. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah this is a Mafi Kizilo. Mafi Kizilo. Mafi Kizilo. Mafi Kizilo. I think Mafi um, Kizilo. They're almost, almost all Nigerian. I think uh, only one. They're all Nigerian. They're all Nigerian. They're all Nigerian. And one South yeah. African. Indeed. Yeah. So but back to the. Uh, um, the Nigerian award. <laughs> Plus <but> one. <laughs> I mean. Back to the um, uh, international thing and what Fuse is doing for our country. I mean, everywhere he goes, you know, yeah. he's flying he's Ghana, flying. Ghana's uh, yes. flag. And I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm happy. And I wish we also acknowledge Which that. We can't mean? give him money, but just awarding him wouldn't be a bad fun. idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Lastly, song of the year. What are you feeling most at the moment? What Personally, song? wow. You know, I'm not supposed to have an opinion because if I do, then it will be a bit biased, biased. you know. Oh, so I'd yes. like to leave it there. But I'll say the categories are quite great, yeah. you know. Uh, personally, my favorite I like to listen to, personally, I think is Tonga. Tonga. <laughs> but <laughs> I doubt another it thing. I, I mean, he, he, um, he just released Tonga not too long ago. And are, you, are you surprised that it's made such an impact? And it's been nominated. You know, I, I honestly months. thought, I was saying earlier on that I thought he should have waited a bit to release it so that he gets a whole lot more. I feel like if he had released it later on in the year, mm. next year he would have made a bigger impact on next year's awards. Really? What, what do you think? No, I think he released it. At the right Why time. are we talking release, release this morning? Release. I'm very comfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable with it. But, you know, it, it doesn't really matter because it depends on when you come out with it and you want to just let the word share what right. creative work you've done right. however if it's a good song it doesn't really matter when you can quickly just permeate the industry and then make a big deal and that's what it's done indeed mm-hmm. indeed indeed, indeed. Song, it's a very popular song very popular is your money on it i'm trying to push you i know you said you don't want to but i know i wouldn't need push. <laughs> <laughs> okay right. now texan thank yeah. you so much hey, it's a Nana pleasure Texan, thank you thank you <laughs> thank you so much for your time this morning Nana texan entertainment critic joining us here on New Day. This has been our entertainment segment and... Um, Stoneboy's here. Oh, is he? <laughs> I'm his cousin. <laughs> my cousin, he's He used to on. be my cousin until Amma took him away. Oh, dear. I didn't this know why. She wants to just fight <laughs> First or second cousin. Okay, so Stoneboy's here. Uh, he'll be joining us shortly. Stay with us. <laughs>